Hey everybody, this is Brian from the Western Wanderers. Uh, today we're going to be reviewing this Thermarest sleeping pad. Uh, it's called the NeoAir X-Therm, and uh, it's made by Thermarest, which is owned by Cascade Designs. They're a Seattle company. Um, this is actually a really cool sleeping bag, uh, excuse me, sleeping pad. It only weighs about one pound and four ounces, and uh, when it's packed down, it's only about 11 inches long um, and four inches, four and a half inches wide. So pretty small and really easy to uh, to take on a backpacking trip. You can see it rolls up. It's actually a, a sleeping pad you have to blow up. It comes with a patch um, and you can uh, you can roll it up really small when you're done using it and it packs down really easy. Uh, it's actually a mummy style sleeping pad so it's not square. It's kind of uh, kind of rounded on the edges to fit mummy bags. So when this uh, sleeping pad's fully unrolled, it's about 77 inches long. Uh, you can see when you fold it up at the end, you kind of fold it up into um, sections of three, uh, which makes it pretty easy. It's not too hard to deal with in the morning in your tent when you're all tired and cold. It's actually uh, fairly easy to deal with. When it comes time to inflate the Xtherm, you kind of have two options. You can either blow into it, which is usually the easiest option, except you kind of get lightheaded by the end because there's just so much air you got to put in. Um, or you can use the bag for the Thermarest Exotherm as a pump. It has a small plastic gasket in there that uh, after quite a lot of fiddling you can fit over the end of the, um, the nozzle there. Uh, but it takes a while. The reason they, they have this is because when you're at high elevation um, you don't want the moisture from your breath turning into ice crystals in the sleeping pad. But nonetheless, it is nice to have and it's probably safer uh, if it's really cold out than blowing it up with your mouth. So like I said, when the sleeping pad's fully inflated, it's about 77 inches long and uh, it's about two and a half inches thick, so um, not, too, not too thick. You can see the bottom has a bit more um, protection on it if you wanna put it on rocks um, or that sort of thing. Uh, so it is it is a pretty durable sleeping pad. My two biggest complaints about the sleeping pad are, well, first of all, because it is that mummy shape, you can kind of fall off the edges in the night. Uh, it's not too wide. And also, if you're sleeping in a tent with other people, it tends to make a crinkling sound whenever you move around in the middle of the night, which can be annoying for your tent guests. One thing to consider if you haven't yet bought a sleeping bag is to actually buy a Thermarest sleeping bag as well because uh, in addition to them being pretty warm, they actually have straps on the bottom that wrap around the sleeping pads that Thermarest makes um, to prevent the sleeping bag from flopping around in the night. So if you're the kind of person that likes to flop around a lot in the night, this could be a good option for you. You can see uh, with an ordinary sleeping bag that's not attached, um, if you toss and turn a lot in the night, uh, you kind of roll around and the sleeping bag doesn't really stay put. But with the Thermarest sleeping bag, uh, you can kind of roll around as much as you want and the, uh, the sleeping bag will stay uh, upright and in its most efficient manner, which is actually really nice when it's cold. So this exact same sleeping pad actually comes in a square version as well. This one that we're displaying here is slightly different, um, but you can get the X-Therm in a square version. Uh, it can be kind of nice if you want a little more room, especially on the, the feed end. There, it's a little bit harder to fall off of, but it's actually just about the same width up at the top. So uh, you still have a lot of space on the, the mummy sleeping pad as well. All in all, I think the NeoAir X-Therm is a very good sleeping pad. It, uh, the reflective material they have inside really bounces the heat back at you when you're sleeping on it. It actually feels like you're sleeping with a seat warmer from your car below you. It's just so warm. Um, they retail for about $200. If you buy them new, you can find deals on them around the internet, so uh, keep your eye out. Again, this sleeping pad is really for people who want to go out in extremely cold conditions and still be warm. Uh, it needs to be matched with a nice warm sleeping bag. It can't just keep you warm on its own, uh, but it is a really good option for sleeping on extremely cold surfaces. So if you have the, uh, the NeoAir X-Therm, leave a comment below. Let me know what you think about it, um, and hopefully you like it. And uh, until next time, we'll see you out on the trail.